Hello fellow CAG players, this is Snoopicus, and today I'm going to show you how to build a Snoopicus tower. You may have seen this in game, I love building it, and I like raining down destruction on my enemies' heads uh, with the blocks by using it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a nine block high ladder, and uh, this tower is going to end up being two wide and nine tall. The reason why it's nine tall is, I'll show you, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. If you drop a block from seven blocks or uh, lower, it just sticks to the ground. How about that? So, in, eff in effect, you're basically building a ladder for your enemies if you're trying to drop blocks on them, but you're just putting little stones on the ground. So we're going to build it nine. Seven, eight, nine. All right. The reason why I build the ladder first is so that as I'm building this wall, my teammates can still jump over it. It only saves a couple seconds over building the wall and then the ladder, but those seconds can really matter in the beginning of the game. So, let's do this. One layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, five layer, six layer, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so now we have our tower. Ta-da! All right, we're going to put a little hutch on the top, and that'll protect our heads. And then we're going to add another little block right here. And uh, a couple people have asked me why I put this here. And the reason is, is that archers can shoot arrows at the wall, and if they're horizontal enough, they can jump on them uh, and climb the wall. You don't see it that often. I'm not actually sure that a lot of archers who, or people who play archers know that you can do that. Um, and I'm actually not quite sure as to its effectiveness, because when you get to the top of a tower, there's usually an engineer or a knight waiting there, and as anybody who's played archer knows, in the confined quarters in melee combat, you're toast. So... That's why I put this little block here. And now I have my little hutch. I can drop stones on people. Stones will always hit and kill, no matter what they're doing, units who are in the column of the dropping block or adjacent to it. That means that a block drop from here will hit any opponent that is up against this wall trying to, you know, blow it up or whatnot. All right? And then to get back up, I come down to this side. And if it's not a dangerous zone, I build a ladder. And then I start placing drawbridges. There. Let's yeah, do that quickly. There we go. And now you can climb back up it. Um, this is fragile. It's a little more fragile than using uh, team doors inside of rock wall. Uh, but it's very cheap. It only costs three wood. And uh, it's very fast to build. And I am always looking at cheap, efficient construction. So I'm going to improve on this tower with a second load of resources. Um, so let's go grab some of those right now. And I will take this time to uh, tell you why I always go behind the flag in order to dig resources. It's because I do not want to dig a tunnel for the enemy uh, to get into and tunnel under our defenses at any time in the future. So, uh, you know, a tag game swings back and forth, and you will have enemies at you know, at your gates, so to speak, and uh, any tunnels that you've dug in order to get stone uh, in the past are going to really come back and fight you. The only place that it won't is behind your tent, so I almost always do my stone farming here unless I am in a really tight situation, like I need some rocks to drop on people, and there's nobody else to do it. So let's go, and we're going to elaborate on our design here. This is the basic. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll strengthen this. So that the uh, lucky bomb kind of blows out a hole in the wall. We don't have to worry about it. I'll add a top. Sometimes I won't. Right. Uh, but what I will definitely do is add a uh, stone wall out here. There we go. Now archers can't hit me unless they get way down here, and my teammates can drop out of it however they want to. Uh, so that's good. And I can still drop my stones. Um, if I'm feeling really ambitious, I may put a catapult up here, in which case I'll put a stone there and build the catapult here. I don't have any wood for it. but uh, Yeah, so that is Snoopy Kiss's tower. If I were to further build on this... I know, I know, I'm just getting so complex now. All right. I build a little spike trap. 
Um, you may have seen my other video on why spike traps are pretty much useless now, but um, worst case scenario, this pit uh, serves as a spot for bombs to fall into so that they don't destroy your wall, which is very useful. All right, so we put our spikes down, and then add two more, and then, uh, you know what, it's the bottom of uh, our things, uh, our base tower, so I don't even bother putting a little drawbridge there. If they fall into it, they fall into it, and that's great. All right, so that is Snoopy Kiss's Tower 1. Catch you later.